Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. So the topic we're back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne, he's Nate. And today on Copper Drop, we were looking at Still Book for a Nightmare Alley. Point of the video, we're not reviewing this book, but we're going through our buying process to see if we want to buy it or not, cop it or drop it slang terms because one of us is young. But the old one, he'll tell you about uh, that face. You gotta love it. He'll tell you about the social media down below. If you scroll down to the description box, pop it open, you'll find links to our social media accounts. So give us a follow on those. We also have a link to our Patreon account and our coffee account. So if you'd like to help support our channel financially, we would greatly appreciate that. And if you join the Patreon, you get extra stuff. And Everybody loves extra stuff. It's cheap extra stuff. It's cheap. Not like small town hookers cheap, but cheap. Like, I'm enjoying this for now, and I want to go see the doctor in two weeks. Enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, let's get into front of this. You got Bradley Cooper himself, Rocket Raccoon. He got him a little mustache. You can got the light shine on him to show the darkness. But well, you see his eyes because in Scarface. I thought everything chick off. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. Got Nightmare Alley on the top. You got this weird, carny, vintage background on the back. I like it. Yeah. It fits the movie for sure. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, I really like it as well. It definitely makes a lot of sense. Because uh, he is a character that is, in fact, shrouded in darkness. Uh, but the light reveals all. Uh, which, ultimately, obviously, if you've seen the movie, you understand the reveal. So... Uh, it definitely fits a lot. I also like. I love the 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 dark kind of creepy like old school carny aspect of this movie in general. So the fact that they included like the posters for the different side shows on there, and obviously we'll talk about them again in a second. I like it a lot. I feel like I was a carny in a past life. Mm, you were a geek. No, the spine. the spine. The spine. Yeah, it tells the title. You got some. Looks like coffee. Yeah, it's color a very odd color. Like color of coffee. Don't see that color a lot on spines of steel books. It makes sense with the rest of it, but it is a it is a very uh, coffee like color. I give you that very mocha. And then you got well, like some caramel in that coffee with the nightmare alley. And you got foam on each end, telling you it's a ultra four K. <laughs> <laughs> and the studio. Yeah. Got the cream with that coffee. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. On the black. On the back. We were talking about Kodak Black beforehand. Because when you see Kodak Black, I'm white. What a great video. My name is Kodak Black, but when you see me, I'm white. Um, yeah. The black. <laughs> back. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? You got, I don't even know what the fuck that is. There's more Carney posters. Carney. But they're just kind of like hodgepodge over each other. Hodgepodge. Hosh, kosh, peak, kosh. On the inside, you got some tarot cards, mm -hmm. and that's cool. That's interesting. That's unique. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, the inside's beautiful. I love the inside, because uh, it's not just that they're the tarot cards there. It's like the layout is very nice of them. Like, it's not just perfectly laid out. They're kind of, like, off-kiltered a little bit, but still very much so in line. So, it looks good. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, you know how to know what tarot cards are? No, you're probably going to tell me you slept with somebody that messed with that shit. Very close. Strange Wayne, he loves those little, uh, the the white women who have blue hair or different color hair and tattoos and play with rocks and play with tarot cards when they're not playing with rocks. So that's how I know what they are. But if you look at one of the discs, you got the tarot cards on there as well. Mm -hmm. I wish they would do that for both of them. It would have blended in better. That yeah. shit would have been John Blaze. Right. But instead... You're like, hey, here's the front cover, but there's more light, and he's not wearing a hat. Right. And you know what I say to that? That's cool. I mean, I'm glad they put something on the disc, but I agree with you. Even if one had been tarot cards and the other one had been, like, more carny posters or something like that, it would have been better. But they still took the time to put something on the disc, and I do definitely appreciate that. You are a big fan of this movie. I was not... It's going to be a drop. I ain't going to waste money on this. Uh, when I can spend it on, like, some rocks to impress some honey dip that plays with tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? Start building your crystal collection. Yeah, son. Yeah, uh, I do. I love this movie a lot. It's definitely going to be on my uh, top ten of the year list whenever I make that. Wow. So this is absolutely a cop for me. I think this is a, a great movie. Tell us down below in the comment section. You copping, you dropping? 
Are you going to buy some rocks, some crystals? <laughs> Not some other kind of rocks, though. Yeah, you know what that I'm saying? That shit's addictive. Some of that crystal meth. Make you, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, that, well, that's what crystals. Well, rock crystals. Crack. You know? Crack comes in rocks. Saying. Or cookies. You know, you go to the right part of town, you can see some people with their birthstones, like some crystal meth, you know what I'm saying? But tell us all this down in the comment section down below. Scroll back and hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe.